No need to worry that gamma alarm last night was probably due to EMI, which is electromagnetic interference, because there's a high electric field at the surface of this reactor due to the transducers in that series inductor. I'm still working out the grounding. When I ground it back to the main control cabinet, it's very unhappy. So right now it's just kind of this floating electric thing that's uh, building a high field probably and just dissipating into the air. So I'm going to have to keep this sensor out of the range of that electric field so I don't get false positives. I can move it to where I see the background radiation that's the same as everywhere else in the shop and then uh, start taking my measurements that way and start understanding the sensor. There's a lot more to review on this sensor. I barely know how to use it yet. I just know that I've scanned everything I own and I kind of understand like what the background is now and it's really cool to see how the scintillator works in this radio code device. After that gamma alarm I got last night, I built this little Aztec style sarcophagus here, partially open, which has lead and borax. And this way I could see, hopefully if there's stuff emitting from the reactor, I could go behind this bunker and have a change in that value. Obviously it could change the background radiation a little bit too. Kind of just a nice little quick tool for me to help understand the meter here. That's all for now. I just want to push this video out to you guys as soon as possible so that you knew that it was probably EMI, not gammas. I'm going to be okay. But also, we've got a long way to go on this reactor before we even get Bremster lung. So don't get too excited yet. But we're still making huge progress in understanding our system here. Thanks so much for watching. More to come soon. Adios.